Zachary Levi, we're coming to you next. You, you, you have, you, yes, we're coming to you. Yes, you look. Yeah, we see you in the monitor here. We had a whole intro and a way to set up the Shazam star, Zachary Levi. But I saw you looking down. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so ready. Yes, of course. I'm here. I'm, I'm awake. Good afternoon. All right, good afternoon. Yes, of course. You all know the name, the face, uh, Shazam Star. Uh, he playing a superhero in real life now, opening up about some struggles and mental health challenges, uh, making it a new mission to break down the stigma now with a new book. That's right. Radical Love chronicles his journey dealing with crippling anxiety and depression and how he finally found healing within himself. Zachary, this is a bold, big topic uh, to take on. Any reservations? How did you feel? Why did you want to do it? And, and what's the response been? Well, uh, no, I mean, not really many reservations. I just think it's the most important thing we need to be talking about right now. It's mental health. I think every other problem in this world, if you were to go upstream to its source, you would find someone's broken head or broken heart. And I think that that's what we need to be focusing on. If we want to solve everything in the world, I think yeah. it comes from healing the world. And you know, to be honest, like I, un unfortunately, I was like many other people. I grew up in an abusive home, not physically, but psychologically, and that traumatizes you. You don't realize it as a child, but that carries through through into your adulthood. And it wasn't until I was 37 and I had a complete mental breakdown, and I had to. I mean, ultimately, coming to the point where I didn't really want to live anymore, and that drove me into this life-saving life-changing therapy and on the heels of that i booked shazam and so during the press tour for that i felt very compelled to tell everyone hey i only got to this point in my life i'm only i only get to be this superhero because i first did the most important work which was to go and figure out how to love myself and to love others and to forgive those who were my abusers because they themselves are products of their environments and so harper collins saw some podcasts that i did about that they said hey we think there's a book here and we think you can help a lot of people and i said amen let's go do it. Well, Zachary, you mentioned it wasn't a physically abusive home, but can you tell folks what that looks like to have being a, an, an emotionally or psychologically abusive uh, home that you were in? Sure, yeah. I mean, you know, look, my, my parents, like I said, they were both products of their environments. They grew up in abusive homes themselves, and because they didn't realize that, they were carrying on and manifesting a lot of those same unhealthy traditions. My uh, stepfather struggled with uh, perfectionism that he learned from his father, and that carried on into our household. It was, you know, there was nothing that you could do that was good enough, essentially, and that really can very much traumatize a young mind. And my mother, God rest her soul, uh, she struggled with um, a lot of things, uh, alcohol abuse and uh, borderline personality. And so, you know, every day I'd come home from school and if she was in a good mood, then we were okay. And if she was in a bad mood, it could be the end of the world. And mm -hmm. those things, again, as a child, your ego is a very incredible thing. It protects you from a lot of these hits that you receive as you you know go along in life but eventually your ego doesn't serve you anymore because it's only there to keep you buoyed until you can get to the point where you recognize oh wow i need to do some much deeper healing and recognize why i am who i am and also recognizing who they were you know i to to carry unforgiveness in your heart it's it's like drinking poison hoping that the other person will die and there was a lot of unforgiveness in my heart and i think that in order for us to all move forward we have to recognize that we're all doing our best. And I know that that is a really hard thing for people to swallow, that even our abusers are doing their best. But again, they are. They're doing the best with the tools that they have at, that they were given throughout their own lives. And I think that's why it's going to come down to radical acceptance, radical forgiveness, and radical love. And love does not necessarily mean I have to go like this person a lot, or I have to allow them access into my life to allow them to keep doing the abusive things that they're doing. To love is to will the good of the other. And that is quoting uh, Thomas Aquinas, who's basically quoting Socrates. But I think that we have to recognize that, that love is not just graduated like. Love is to recognize that there's a miracle in the life across from you, even if they are a very troubled, toxic life. And for us to be able to have empathy and grace and forgiveness with these people and hopefully, you know, love them back to a better form of themselves. And I, I wish I could have done that with my mom before she passed away. But her alcohol abuse ultimately was her demise. And I think that, you know, had she been loved more in her life, had she been taught love and modeled love more in her life by her mother, then she wouldn't have gone to that alcohol to self-medicate for so many years in her life. And I just want people to be able to see that there is hope 
that they are, and they are not alone. I mean, everyone struggles with some form of this. Everyone needs to go to therapy at least a little bit. All of us need some healing at least a little bit. Um, yeah, amen. I could not agree with <laughs> everything you said more. And you should come back for Faith Friday uh, because you just took us to church. Uh, I, I, I really, I cannot wait to read this. I, I'm serious. This is amazing. Zachary, thank you so much for being on the show and inspiring us all and having us look at through a different lens, you know, through other people and ourselves. So uh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You all have a great day. All right, folks. Radical Love, we do want you to know. Uh, Radical Love, learning to accept yourself and others is out in stores now. And a reminder here, a lot of folks out there could be struggling. Someone you know might be struggling. Uh, you do have help available out there. The crisis uh, lifeline, the suicide crisis uh, hotline, 988 for free confidential emotional support, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.